Oh, oh, hey. Oh, I got a video instead. Time to get back on the trail. <laughs> All right, June 29. Let's go. All right, thank you, campsite. It's a nice campsite. <laughs> the only complaint I have is there's like this thing sticking up right in my back. <laughs> oh well, what can you do? Got some others over here. Getting ready. All right. Going to old station, get some breakfast. everyone guess what I'm staying in a church tonight you've got people scattered around there's not that many people here tonight when I got here there was a bunch more people but uh, they took off got on the trail there's also some spaces up there there's showers in there and then a few blocks down the street is the laundromat and there's also a grocery store in town. Yeah, sleeping in a gym at the Bernie Ward of Life Assembly of God. Yep, that's where I'm at. All right. Well, I'm trying to uh, hitch out of Bernie. Uh, I got as far as four points, and uh, which is seven miles out of Bernie or five miles out of Bernie, really. And I'm trying to get back to Old Station so I can continue back north. So we'll see. See how it goes. A few moments later. Well, that was unexpectedly very easy. I've probably waited there about 10, 15 minutes, four corners. And Rebecca from Hat Creek picked me up. And uh, she was just going to go to Hat Creek and drop me, and I was going to get another one, but uh, she decided to take me all the way down here. So, woohoo. I got to change my name to Lucky. I think it was the shave. It helped. Definitely helped. All right, let's go to the trail. Let's get uh, get to a campsite, some some sort, flat spot of ground, and uh, call it night. That's where I ended yesterday. Yep, and that's back to old station. That's where I'm getting back on. Ooh, let's go find camp. This wasn't right next to the dam. Highway, I'd probably camp right here. Boy. I wonder if I should camp right here. Nah. It's too noisy. I don't want to be right next to a highway. That'll garner too much scrutiny. Anyways. Alright. Hopefully we only have to hike a couple miles. A few moments later. Well that didn't take very long. Here's a great spot here, right off the trail. Trailhead's like 
two tenths of a mile right there not even i can actually still hear the road which later after dark shouldn't be a problem at all okay i'm gonna set up here nice flat spot and uh check out the subway cave tomorrow and try and do about uh 18 or 18 and 19 tomorrow get up early and then uh find some shade in the middle of the day it's really hot you know we'll see we'll see how it goes i won't push it so all right see ya all right good morning it is about 6 20 in the morning on july 1st thank you campsite kind of not far off the highway far enough it was actually pretty quiet last night not too much road noise until about 4 35 o'clock and i had to start getting up anyway so yeah good campsite all right i'm gonna head over to the subway cave check that out and then make our way north a little chilly this morning after being quite hot it's still 80 degrees when i laid down at about 8 30 and uh it was like 48 this morning yeah and the subway cave all right Probably brought my head headlamp. Yeah. I'm not gonna go deep down in there. Wow. Cool. Just keeps going down there. Hmm. Wild. Alright. Another time, I guess. I don't really wanna spend too much time down here. Kinda creepy. But also too is I gotta make some miles today. It's gonna be hot, hot, hot. Get them out in the middle of nowhere. Which is, and then I think that goes to the campground. All right, let's head back to PCT. Make some miles. And then dry out my gear. A little condensation. Sleeping bag a little, a little damp, soggy. So it was my tent. I suppose that's why, because it's like 90 degrees and it's Drops down to the 40s. Oh, you can kind of see Lawson. Yeah, not with this camera, but I trust you. Trust me. It's between those trees, that little white speck right there. <laughs> That's Lawson. 
Right on. Cool. I know we're going to see Shasta soon because um, I sat on the road on the way to uh, Bernie. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome there. This little overlook area. Nice restroom right here. I don't need to use it. I'm at mile 1381 of the PCT here at the Hat Creek Overlook. You got Mount Lawson in the background, Sugarloaf Mountain, Mount Bernie, and way off in the distance, can't really see it in the haze on the camera here. It's Mount Shasta, and I'll be getting there uh, over the next week or so. And look what we have here. And the last bag of carrots. Some kind of chocolate drink, some apples, a few gallons of water, and uh, yeah, several gallons of water. So, all right, a little trail magic, I know, cool. All right, <clears throat> still walking on this ridge walk here. We're looking the Hat Creek Valley there. Got views of Shasta and Lawson behind me. Shasta up front. And uh, yeah, it's relatively cruisy, kind of rocky. I've adjusted my tying my shoes and it seems to be helping. Not getting as much pressure on my outer uh, sole underneath my uh, pinky toes. So maybe something, maybe I did something right there. Um, these are, I think these sevens are a little more narrow than the uh, sixes, maybe. Just how they got them. They have a new lacing system, so. It's a little different. Uh, yeah, than that, it's getting hot. Uh, sun's getting a little higher, but there's an oh so gentle, if almost imperceptible breeze, but it's keeping me relatively cool. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep motor along until, until it's time to take a break in the shade for a few hours and then hike more. And, in the afternoon, early evening, and uh, find camp. Hopefully at that uh, at or just after that water cache. I think it's in about uh, 14, 15 miles. But uh, we'll see. I was looking to do about 19 today. See if we can do that since the train's relatively cruisy. But you know, with this heat. I'm not going to overdo it. So, I got plenty of water on me right now. My pack is so heavy. <laughs> oh boy. So heavy with all the food in the water, but it's all right. At least it's relatively cruisy through here. Very hot.
All right. Got 1.6 miles left to get to the water cache. I'm now out of my water. It's hot outside, but at least it's breezy now. The sun is a little lower angle, so it's not as intense. I was hiking uh, before with uh, John. Folks at home might know him as a uh, legend from the Hiking with the Codgers videos. Uh, he went through the Sierra. He was the ninth person to go through the Sierra. Pretty darn amazing. So uh, he was telling me it sounded like the Codgers were flipping up. They uh, bailed out of the Sierra and they're flipping up. And uh, who knows, I'm able to catch up with me. I'm so damn slow. Uh, I tried to keep up with John for a while. There's just no way. All right, well, let's go get this uh, water, the water cache, gorge on water and get camp because I'm getting tired on my feet and my legs and my back. I'm tired. I know I'll feel a lot better once I get some water in me, so a lot better. Uh, all right, cool. Also met uh, Endo and Endo and Hiru from Japan. Right on. And I uh, also saw, by the way again, um, I know him mostly as Dave from Oceanside from way back in Lake Marina and Mount Laguna. Okay, all right, that's about it. This is what I'm walking on right now. Just awful. Look at this. Just lava rocks. Uh, uh, gravels in that. Those rocks. Yeah. They're like baby heads. Oh, they hurt. Hurt on the feet. Yep. It's hot. All right, thank you campsite. Uh, it was a okay campsite, not too bad. Kind of slopey, but not too, pretty flat. John, he was right there. He had the spot in the center. Nobody came, but somebody could have stayed right there to get going. About 10 miles to water. And we got about a liter left. I think it's cool out this morning. Pretty amazing sunset last night. Uh, ooh, yeah, there's a bunch of Witten farm up there. But uh, Mont Shasta over there was uh, kind of backlit, so it was kind of a silhouette. It's really nice. Job for these cow post holes. Just your ankle, pretty good one of them if you're not careful. Your cows kind of groaning and mooing. Last night, about 11 or midnight or something, I don't know. John thinks it was about 11. Somebody walked through, hiked through. Night hike in this section. Not too difficult to night hike, although a lot of rocks might trip. But definitely better to do it in the cool. Oh, like it is right now. Eventually it's cooled down enough. I was able to actually get my sleeping bag. And pretty overall comfortable night's rest. So the plan is today go get some water and then 
make it, I think it's about 13 miles, 14 miles, something like that, to Highway 299 and hitch back into Bernie and uh, probably spend the night at the church again, recharge, and we'll see what's going on there. At the very least, just to kind of recharge. Let's kind of get a shower, sort through my food a little bit, make sure don't need to place anything. Um, I wouldn't think so. Uh, and uh, have a good filling meal and get ready for the next stretch all the way up to Dunsmere, Mount Shasta, about 100 miles or so. we're gonna do at least with all this extreme heat I mean it was probably getting close to 100 yesterday um, it's probably melting the snow up ahead who knows maybe I'll get lucky and I won't even need my micro spikes I wouldn't count on it but you know I would imagine some of the sketchier spots will be melted away and more dirt to hike on take that for sure I'll take more heat and uh, less snow yeah. so it looks like it's gonna temperatures gonna stay in the 90s for a few more days and then back down to the 80s and then inch back up towards the 90s again at the end of the week at least the high 80s Maybe once we get up higher elevation, six, seven thousand feet, it'll cool down again. But I don't know how much we're gonna be able to get up there. I don't know how high the elevations are in Northern California up here. Looks to be looks to, will look to be getting in kind of a rugged section, so I don't know if it's mountains look more like central Idaho where they're more crumpled and and uh, steep but not very high so Mount Shasta 14,000 feet and it definitely stands out so there's nothing around it that's even close uh, of course it's a big old volcano but uh, yeah we'll be seeing a lot of Mount Shasta over the next several days even when we pass it we'll be able to see it behind us so kind of like mount san Jacinto, just couldn't get get out of its view for quite a while not that i was trying to but well, i was trying to i was trying to keep moving but uh, you can see it for far away anyways that's about it i've been talking way too much it's going on 9 30 it's like 93 degrees outside. Uh, luckily there's a little water cache back there. Got a couple of liters. Get me to the next water source without having to ration too much. Especially with this heat. Threw on the sun hat. Yeah, actually it doesn't feel too bad. Definitely you notice the heat, but there's a slight breeze and it seems to be cooling me off right now but uh, yeah today's supposed to be the hottest day I think it's supposed to taper down for the next few days so I finally I'm gonna get into Bernie and soak my feet uh, lay down with like a wet rag on my face okay.
Beautiful cold water. Soak my feet in there for a while till they started to hurt from the, how cold it was. Sat over there, chilled out. Boy, now I feel so much better. I feel like a million bucks right now. Let me tell you what. Drink like a whole liter of water, cold water. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh. I'll get the rock hunt for the rest of the way and get out of these mosquitoes. Hydro station here. Oh, okay, yeah, there's a little bridge across. Baum Lake. Nice little recreation area. Uh, Flower Company land. Red soil. Mm. Maybe that's Crystal Lake and that's Bob Lake. 